What's up guys? Today's video is going to be mostly about me curbing my urge to compulsively buy new makeup. One palette in particular, Huda Beauty has launched new nine pan palettes. I don't know why these get to me so much, but it's like the second they launch, I want them. Specifically the lilac palette from the new pastel palettes that she has launched, but I know myself, I know my makeup collection. I already have shades that can get me close, if not exactly to every single shade in that palette, including the textured ones that I had previously told myself was justification for buying those palettes because even if I had, you know, shadows that were close to the more normal feeling tones, I definitely wouldn't have the textured shadows, right? But I pretty much do. So in this video, I am sharing with you what my search yielded in my makeup collection, going through all of these soft purpley shadows that I have, some new, some old, some more affordable drugstore versions, some indie brands. We got a little bit of something for everyone. So to the extent you were also interested in this palette, I hope this um, kind of dupish video is helpful for you. Let's go ahead and get started. First, I wanna start with a couple of palettes that Huda has already created. The first of which I don't even own. It is the Mercury in Retrograde palette. And for as much as I really, really wanted it when it launched, I told myself that I want them because they're shadows I don't have in my collection, but truthfully, they're shadows I don't have in my collection because I probably wouldn't use them all that often. I don't use like pastel blues or minty colors all that frequently. And so I convinced myself it was a pass for me. But when you look at it, it's almost like a a combination of all of the three pastel nine pan palettes that she recently released. So if you have a Mercury and Retrograde palette, you might already have not just the lilac tones, but the mint and the pink tones in your collection already. And then the other two Huda Beauty palettes that I reached into were my new Nudes palette, which is primarily like pinks, but there are definitely some purpley plum shades in here. Like I am wearing the shade Lace, this super, super soft pastel purple here all over my lid. And then there's also Love Bite up here in the corner, which is more of a bold purple, less pastel. And even Tease down here, which is kind of a mauve, like a brown toned purple, but still very soft purple. And then you also have Daydream, which is a textured light lilac shade as well. So a couple of soft pastel purple options in this palette. And then for some bolder purple options, reach into the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. I love this palette. Definitely one that doesn't get enough love for me but look at the shades Amethyst, first of all, a vibrant matte purple, and Twilight, which is a hybrid soft lilac pinky blue iridescent shifty shadow shade. Together they're beautiful in conjunction with this entire palette. They are complemented even more. I just, I, I can't say enough good things about these palettes, which Again, it makes it harder to say no when Huda launches new palettes, but as we'll come to see, I got plenty of lilacs in my collection. Moving on. Actually, before we move on, I also wanna point out that the Desert Dusk palette also has the peachy leaning neutrals, which you can also find in the pastel lilac palette as well. The shade Eden in this palette is what I used in my crease today before I went in with the lilac shades that you'll see. So once again, the Desert Dusk palette checks a couple of different boxes if you're you're interested in those pastel lilac vibes. Now let's move on. Next, I wanna talk about a single drugstore alternative. And I love talking about shadows that you can buy one off because maybe like me, kind of like my excuse with the Mer Mercury and Retrograde palette, I didn't need it because they're not shadows I use frequently. Picking up a single can help you get that taste of whatever shade you're after without buying a whole palette, without buying shadows that you know you'll probably never use more than a few times. You'll enjoy them when you do, but it's a whole palette. So you can avoid a little bit of that waste with a single. And this one is from L'Oreal. It's their Infallible Paints Metallics sh Shadow Collection. This is the shade Violet Luster. And honestly, it is exactly, exactly the same shade as the light lilac from the new Nudes palette, just with a metallic finish. Here they are side by side so you can kind of see right there. I also applied the L'Oreal version over the matte Huda Beauty formula and when I couldn't tell a difference I realized oh yeah they are basically identical but just slightly different finishes. So this is just a good option in general whether you're looking for a lilac shade or if you wanted to dupe a shade like this 
from the new nude palette. Next up, another drugstore find in a completely underrated formula, in my opinion, is from the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Collection. This is the duo Lilac Luster, and on one end you have a metallic cream shadow. This, though, is, is more complex than a lilac. It's like a periwinkle with a lilac shift, or maybe even vice versa, but there are definitely tones of both soft purple and soft blue in here. Very multidimensional. I put a teensy bit on the center of my lid straight with the applicator and then went in with a brush and blended it out. But you can totally layer it up for a more intense metallic finish across the lid. And then on the other end, you have a glitter. And these are some of the better drugstore glitters out there. They come with a brush tip applicator so you can wear it as a liner. You can blend it all across the lid. And this in particular is a very multifaceted glitter. Once again, you have a couple of shades working in here, purples, blues. It just brings a lot of dimension to the eyes as opposed to a one wash of glitter to the lids. And together they just make for a really fun color and texture combo. Up next is an affordable find, but not necessarily drugstore. And it is a blast from the past. So much so that I actually, I hope it's still available, but I'll include it here anyway, in case you own it and you just never think to reach for it. It is the BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic Palette. This guy, another one that just, just doesn't get enough love despite the fact that it has a ton of cool colors inside. You get two lilac shades up here in the corner, they're pretty much the same. One's called Milky Way, one's called Cosmic. They are both very soft, soft, frosty lilac shades. Milky Way has a hint of glitter in it, but I think for all practical purposes, when you apply them, they're kind of the same shade. Additionally, in this palette, you get soft mints. You get, uh, that's, that's a pretty bold pink up there, but like you even get your mint, your taste of mint, if you're interested in those palettes from Huda Beauty as well. And just in general, these are some really nice metallic shades. You know, back in the day when BA Cosmetics was like one of the brands on YouTube because you could get those massive color palettes. This was a good formula and it's honestly stood the test of time. Like their shimmery metallic shades are very finely milled. I believe either these are baked or they're trying to fake like they're baked because they have like slightly domed exteriors, but they're very soft and ultra pigmented and definitely worth a second look if you've been, if it's been sitting in your collection for a while. Last up, let's talk about those textures, which so often make Huda Beauty's palettes unique. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's how I have frequently justified my purchase of them, even though I likely don't need them. There are so many textured shadows available now, both in palettes and as singles. And so I picked some singles that if you are interested in, they're not the most affordable thing, and it's from an indie brand, so there is often kind of a wait time, but they are so worth the wait, in my opinion. Um, they are from Cleona Cosmetics, and I mean, these, I have a video over all of these shadows. They are so, so beautiful, but the two that I'm picking for their lilac -iness are these two. One is, I believe it's a pastel, part of the pastel stained glass collection. It's the shade Turret. Very soft, very lilac-y, a hint of smokiness to it. And the other one doesn't look purple at all. It actually has kind of a green hue to it in the pan. Um, it's the shade Ambient, and I can't remember what collection within the stained glass line this is from, but sure enough, when you apply it, it's what I'm wearing in the center of my lids right now. And it has this beautiful pinky purple shift to it, but at certain angles, you probably won't be able to see it because my lighting never, it only ever shows one color in a shifty shadow, but at certain angles, maybe you'll be able to see it in a pan. It is, it goes from pink to purple to blue to green almost in here. We got a quad chrome on our hands, people. This is the hardest working shadow you might ever own. If you want texture, these these will do it for you and like so much more. Now with any video like this, I am always limited by the shadows that I have. So to the extent that you guys have some lilacs sneaking around your collection, please feel free to share them in the comments here. That way anybody else who might not have these shadows or are still looking for alternatives can take a look down there and get some tips and you know, get their lilac fix without buying a whole new palette. If you'd like more videos like these, be sure and check out some of these boxes with other videos down here and come back for more by hitting that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.